If you're looking for, let's say, a business line of credit, whether for your startup or you want to have a large line amount or you're looking for a fast approval or even your credit score is kind of low, Bluevine is a great place to go. But everybody thinks that Bluevine is the only uh, the only lender in town. But no, in today's conversation, I want to show you that there are five great Blue Line, uh, when it, Blue Vine, when it comes to lines of credit alter alternatives that you can actually apply at, and uh, you'll get your loan real fast. So here is a review that I really want you to pay attention to. Number five, we have Altline. Our score, 8.8 over 10. So when you think about Altline, you want to think about a lender that's really great in terms of uh, invoice factoring. So if you're looking for a, a business line of credit lender, who is actually also good at uh, helping you with invoice factory, accounts receivable financing, all that kind of stuff. This is really great. And we love the fact that uh, Outline offers both flexibility and competitive rates, okay? And we love the fact that uh, they are really, really, they are not only very flexible, but they also, Outline is actually uh, based, uh, they are linked to a uh, major bank. We're, sp we're speaking about Southern Bank, okay? So pretty decent lender, okay? And uh, we love the fact that they will give you alternative financing uh, products real fast. So they are actually combining alternative financing co convenience with traditional banking resources. So fantastic. Outline, here are the pros and cons I want you to pay attention to. Pros, financing is available to qualified startups, no credit score requirements, high factoring amounts, business line of credit possible, rates their rates tend to be cheap okay and they have a few extra fees but you know nothing really uh nothing really uh complicated and their customer service customer service customer service is really informative they're really really helpful okay what about the cons well they're not available to some businesses in some industries and a long-term contract is sometimes required and funds can take a while to disperse okay but hey it is what it is by the way boss Welcome back to the show. I really appreciate having you here. And uh, so we love having this this type of conversations every now and then. And when you think when you think about Outline, you are looking at uh, up to $4 million in terms of approval, okay? You can get your cash within 24 hours. And if you compare that with Bluevine, Bluevine is giving you 5,000 to a quarter of a million. So Outline is more generous. And Bluevine is also uh, approving you within 24 hours. But overall, with Outline, you can actually, uh, Outline specializes in uh, factored invoices, but you can actually convert those uh, invoice uh, factor, that invoice factoring into a business line of credit. Not a problem. They do this all the time with, uh, with their, with their, with, with good customers. The only thing is that your business, and this is an important qualification, this is an important criterion. You must be a B2B business. If you are a B2C business, they're not going to accept you. Okay. So Outline, our score here is, uh, 8.8 .8 over 10. Number four, we have here. Number four, we have National Business Capital. Our score, nine over 10. So when you think when you think about National Business Capital, we think about a business line of credit lender that is great for startups. Now, let, let me actually qualify that. NBC, National Business Capital, is not a direct lender. So they're, they're just more like a loan network, a lender network. So they actually have, uh, I mean, the, the actual, uh, the technical term is a loan aggregator service. So they allow businesses of all sizes to apply to multiple lenders at once with a single application. So national business capital, they have a similar uh, business model to uh, Lendio. So if you're familiar with Lendio, that's uh, exactly the same game that Lendio plays, okay? And uh, so what we love about uh, NBC, National Business Capital, is that they actually allow you to access many, many, many lenders at, at once through one single application. You know, you're not trying to waste your time with uh, gazillions of applications. No, only one application and you are good to go. So here are the pros and cons here. The pros, borrower qualifications are lower than with banks. Financing is available to qualify startups. They have high borrowing amounts. The long-term financing options are available and the application process is very fast and easy. We are talking about three minutes, three to five minutes. Okay. And uh, if you, once you are, you become a customer, you are assigned an account manager. So this is really cool. Here are the cons. Rates can be, it can be expensive because if you think about it, you are tapping into a pool of diversified lenders. So you never know what you're going to get anyway. Right. 
and they may require collateral in some cases. By the way, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We're having a conversation about the top five blue vine business line of credit alternatives. Okay, so you want to, if you want to get your, your cash real fast, you want to be approved no matter your credit score, you want to be approved no matter your business income, you want to be approved, uh, you know, like with, without asking too much information, those are the players you want to pay attention to. So we have uh, for NBC, if you think about NBC, they can actually approve you from, from 5,000 all the way to 5 million. With Blue Vine, you are looking at 5,000 to a quarter of a million, okay? For Blue Vine, you get approved within 24 hours. With NBC, you get approved within the 72 hours, okay? And so this is what it is. But the good thing about Blue Vine is that, not Blue Vine, the good thing about NBC is that in addition to uh, business loans of credit, you also can be approved for business term loans, business uh, equipment financing, and SBA loans. So this is really, really, really good. Number three, we have here, Axion Opportunity Fund. Our score, 9.3 over 10. So when you think about Axion, you want to think about a, a lender. It's actually a, a great lender that is great for a minority, women, and veteran-owned businesses, but also for the general, for other businesses as well. Though I'm not saying that you have to be, you have to, you have to be necessarily a woman, minority, or veteran-owned business to qualify. You know, they're open to everybody. They're not trying to discriminate here. The point I'm trying to make is that this is a lender that's it's, it's a semi non-profit lender semi uh rec like semi agency like public lender who will take care of you if you happen to have a like you are in a in a targeted category they'll take care of you so what are the pros and cons here borrower qualifications are lower than banks they have monthly repayments they have no prepayment penalty the application process is fast and easy customer service is helpful what about the cons well rates can be expensive and the funds take time to disperse. Applicants must submit a lot of information and they're not available in all states. Okay. One thing I want to say here is that uh, overall, when you think about Axion, you have to think about a lender who is very flexible. And if I, if I were to compare and contrast Axion to uh, Bluevine, so Bluevine gives you a line of credit. Axion gives you term loans. In some cases, they also give you lines of credit, but it's on a case by case basis. And in terms of borrowing amounts, Blue Vine, 5000 to a quarter of a million. Axion, 5000 to $100,000. And the approval time, 24 hours for Blue Vine. For Axion, you are looking at uh, a time that can go from three days all the way to seven days, okay? But hey, it is what it is. If you qualify, this is really good. It's worth the wait, though. It's really worth the wait. And but so, in addition to uh, business lines of credit, Axion offers other uh, sort of a credit products. They have uh, they actually they offer you uh, women-owned business loans, veteran-owned business loans. They have startup business loans, small business loans. They have a spa loans, restaurants and food industry loans. They actually have Native American business loans. So the point I'm trying to make here is that they actually have like a constellation of business loans, okay? And they want you to just they want you to have revenue, minimum revenue of fifty thousand dollars a year. And time in business, 12 months, so you are good to go. Number two, we have here on deck our score 9.7 over 10. What we love about on deck is that if you are a repeat customer, you will love the service. And uh, it, it is uh, on deck is a very stable lender. They actually will work with you. They are they, they, they've been around for a while now, so they are really good. And uh, one thing I want to say here is that let me just kind of walk you through the pros and cons here. What are the pros? Well, borrower qualifications are lower than with banks. You have multiple types of financing that are available. You have lower cost for repeat customers. We love the fact that the application process, I'm telling you, is like real fast and easy. OK, and uh, funds are dispersed real quick. And you are able to build business credit through on deck as well. What about the cons? Well, financing is not available in some states, and uh, they're not available to businesses in some industries. Okay, and rates can be expensive. So it is what it is. But hey, listen, you know, I, I want to quickly remind you, boss, of today's topic. Where we're, I'm talking to you about the top five blue vine business lines of credit alternatives. You know, Blue Vine is kind of cool, but on deck is, is that also good, okay? 
And uh, let me sort of do a quick compare and contrast here. So when you think about OnDeck, they want you to be like time in business, one year, your credit score is 625, business revenue, $100,000, okay? And uh, the, the good thing about OnDeck is that the, the borrowing amount you can qualify for in terms of business line of credit, you have $6,000 to $100,000. And the draw term length, 12 months, okay? There is a maintenance fee that's typically like $20 per month, but the APR is kind of high, but hey, listen, you get your cash real fast. So the APR goes like 29% to 65%, but uh, you get your cash real fast. So this is what we love a lot. But overall, everything else, the application process is very easy, very simple. You know, you you get, uh, you get actually, they ask for your EIN. They ask for three bank statements from the previous three months. Your social security number, okay. They ask for a driver's license and the state of issue. And they just take care of you. And you can apply online, not a problem. And uh, you get your cash, as I said within 12 to uh, 24 hours. So this is really, really good. Number one, the best of the best when it comes to uh, Blue Vine business line of credit alternative, we have Lendio. Our score, 9.8 over 10. So when you think about Lendio, I just said this before, Lendio is kind of similar to NBC, National Business Capital, but Lendio is way better, it's way, way better the depth and the breadth of the lenders on their platform in their loan marketplace is really uh, bigger, okay, larger. So Ledio is, is, is really cool when it comes to comparing loan offers to comparing line of credit offers. They do not originate loans directly, but their network of over 300 business funders, founders, not founders, funders, I get it right, 300 business funders is actually designed as a one-stop shop for financing, okay? And uh, so here are the pros and cons of a Lendio. So pros, borrower qualifications are lower than banks. They have multiple types of financing that are available. They have high borrowing amounts. Long-term financing options are available. Applicants can quickly be, be pre-qualified. So the good thing is there is a pre-qualification tool, okay? And the application process is fast and easy. And customer service is really helpful so this is kind of cool what about the cons here well rates can be expensive especially if you have a lender who you know just uh, likes your profile but they have expensive rates well it is what it is and funds can take a while to disperse depending upon uh, your situation and the states you're applying from okay and let's let's quickly do a compare and contrast between Landio and uh, Bluevine here so when it when we talk about the type of funding with Bluevine, you have a line of credit. With Lendio, in addition to line of credit, you have short-term loans, term loans, MCAs, so merchant cash advances, you have SBA loans, you have equipment, financing, among other types of credit products. So the, the diversity, the constellation of business loan, business uh, credit products is even uh, larger on the Lendio side. In terms, of, in terms of the borrowing amounts, with Bluevine, you were looking at $5,000 to $250,000. With Lendio, you are looking at 1,000 to 5 million. In terms of approval, with the blue one, you have 24 hours. With Lendio, it's 72 hours. So you can see the delta here, but listen, overall, this is just fantastic. You know, we love Lendio, and, and Lendio is really good in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, the pool, the diversity of the lender pool, okay? And in addition to that, you like you'll see lenders such as Fundbox, such as American Express, on deck, they are already on Lendio, so this is really good. But just remember, you're not getting a loan directly from Lendio. Okay, they're not a direct lender. They will, uh, they actually, uh, they will, they will, they will process your loan, and they will actually dispatch your loan application to a con a constellation of lenders, and you you hear from those lenders directly. Let me quickly have an overview of today's conversation. So. Basically, we just talked about the top five Blue Vine business lines of credit alternatives, okay? But you need to understand that whether you get your business line of credit from Blue Vine, from Landio, from NBC, from uh, Alt9, from Ondag, from uh, Cabbage, aka American Express Blueprint, you really have to understand the basics of business lines of credit, okay? And you have to understand that uh, if you want to choose the best business line of credit, you have to pay you have to pay attention to the borrowing amount 
the purpose of the line of credit, the repayment terms, whether you have a draw period or you have a, we have a draw and a repayment period or you have a draw and repayment period or whatever. Like, you know, some business line of credits are revolving, some are not revolving. You got to think about the term length, the total cost of borrowing, interest, fees and other costs, the, uh, the, the impact to your personal credit score and credit history, the time of business requirements, the collateral requirements. So there is a, a diversity of factors you need to pay attention to to sort of figure out which business line of credit is the best for you. So you always have to be in a situation where you are asking yourself, how would you use the money? What you use the money for? Obviously, if you have a business line of credit, is because you want to have a, 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 a financing facility that's available every time to take care of business, right? It could be to uh, to purchase office space or, or building, take care of a payroll, to hire new employees, to purchase inventory or supplies. You to, to for working capital, you can use a, a business line of credit for working capital purposes, okay? But the bottom line is not just to get the cash. The bottom line is to have a clear idea what you will use the cash for. And uh, even even more uh, more important, you got to ask yourself, what is the overall situation in the industry? Is your business generating enough revenue to cover the additional financial commitments that come from this business line of credit? OK, because anytime you get a business line of credit, it's not really like a, a loan per se. So you don't have the liability on your balance sheet until you tap into the, the business line of credit. However, you need to know that once you tap into the line of credit, you should be able to pay it. You should be able to pay it back. So we, we, which means your business must generate, must generate enough revenue. Let me give you a few pro tips. Okay. So when you think about getting a business line of credit from a blue vine alternative, or even from blue vine itself, you have to decide how much money you need. And uh, it's not about something like, you know, you can't just like say, I think I need $50,000 or I need forty-five, or I need $100,000. No, this is not like, this is not a random sort of lottery uh, play, you know, sort of like, you know, trying to scratch a lottery ticket and hope like, hope to get some money. No, no, no. You have to do things logically. You got to follow a formula of su f formula for success. So you want, you want to sit down and analyze your business. You want to analyze your cash inflows and cash outflows. And you want to analyze how much in terms of a deficit, cash flow deficit you, you, you have. Like if your business is uh, always having a deficit of, let's say, $10,000 to $15,000 every single month because clients are not paying right away or because uh, you're not able to generate revenue uh, appropriately, then $10,000 should be uh, the baseline you should start at when it comes to seeking extra cash, right? So now you, you, you don't actually ask for $10,000, you ask for more. Like let's say you can ask for 20 grand, but you wanna, you wanna don't ask for 100,000 if it, what you really need is $10,000, that's my point. My point is you wanna have just, you just wanna have enough, but don't have too much, don't apply for too much to sort of jeopardize not only your, your your approval odds, but also jeopardize your financial situation should you be approved. Because if you were, if you're approved for $100,000 and you, in reality, you only need 10 grand, chances are you might be tempted to actually use the extra 90 grand, right? If you're not financially responsible, if you're not financially mature, the temptation is still there, which is why, you know, I uh, we always say on this show, you want to just get the, like enough, enough, that you need okay make sure that you, you keep that in mind you need to borrow you need to borrow a line amount that you can afford to repay so that it's not about just uh getting a loan and whatnot no it's about making sure that you are in a situation where you have enough revenue to repay whatever you whatever you apply for so this is really important because the bottom line here is that you want to constantly cover you want to constantly monitor your dscr so dscr is basically a metric that means debt service coverage ratio okay it, the uh, the actual formula is annual net operating income divided by annual debt payments so you want to maintain a ds a dscr ratio that is uh, like uh, above one so that you have enough coverage to take care of whatever additional uh, debts you might have okay but see, that's the bottom line that's the bottom line i wanted to share with you to so always have this in mind
Before I close today's conversation, I want to acquaint you with uh, our business line of credit evaluation approach. We have a, a strong system, a very strict system on this show when it comes to evaluating, categorizing, and listing business line of business lines of credit. So I want you to check this out right now. Let's quickly recap our top five Blue Vine business lines of credit uh, I'll say alternatives. And number one, we have Lendio, 9.8 over 10. Number two, we have uh, On Deck, 9.7 over 10. Number three, we have Action Opportunity Fund, 9.3 over 10. Number four, we have National Business Capital, 9 over 10. And number five, last but not the least, we have uh, Altline, our score, 8.8 .8 over 10. Thank you so much for your attention. God bless you. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.